Hey guys, welcome to Charger Games. This is Raja and this is another Unity C Sharp tutorial. So in this video we will learn another way to take inputs from your keyboard. So let's get started. In the previous video we have learned already how to take keyboard inputs by using uh, key codes. Uh, but there's another way by which we can take keyboard inputs and we can assign specific names to specific keys so that we don't have any problem while uh, doing those things. Now if you go to edit where is that project settings and input you will see that here we have already a lot of buttons that are already set up for us. As an example if I click on this jump one, if I click here, as you can see that its name is jump and the positive button is space. So the space button on your keyboard is set as the jump button. So whenever we want to use that, we just need to specify the name that is jump and it will automatically work whenever space is pressed. Moreover, for fire one, as you can see, for fire one, the positive button is left control and we have an alternative positive button that is mouse zero or the left click of our mouse. So whenever we write fire one automatically it will take input of our mouse zero. So let's go and check that out. So in the update, well just like previous one, we need to write input dot get in the previous one we write we have written input dot get key but in this case we will write input dot get button down so whenever you want to specify the name of the button you just write input dot get button down and inside that you have to pass the name of that uh, you have to pass the name which represents that button as an example in this case I want to check if space is pressed or not so that is why as we have seen before that space is represented by the keyword jump so we will write here jump so if input the get button down jump let's first of all try to debug log and oops I have uh, okay I just wanted to show you so here I am checking input that get button down jump and here we have to write if input that get button down jump just like the previous video and then let's debug that log space pressed okay so if I go ahead and now uh, now the script is already attached to this game object right here this is an empty game object if you haven't attached you can attach it and now if I go to my window and console and if I run this game now if I press oops, the first time it takes some time to load and you guys will see that whenever I press the space key on my keyboard that the jump button will be called and here it will be written that space is pressed so let me press the space key as you can see it says space pressed so the same way the same way you can go to edit project settings and input and for the other buttons as well you can see the keywords that has been set and you can also create your new key just by uh, increasing the size from here so if I increase the size from 18 to 19 here as you can see here we have a new thing and we can change its name we can change the positive button, we can change the alternative positive button and whatever we want. Let's make it 18 again. So this way we can also add more buttons uh, to use by their names. Let's try one more. Now this time I'm going to check if mouse button is first. Uh, so I'm going to write if input dot get button down as you have seen before that the mouse button is represented by fire one so I have to write here fire one and make sure to write it within quotations because it's a string so make sure to write it within quotations double quotations and if input get button down is fire one that means the left mouse button is pressed we're gonna write we're gonna simply write the bucket log mouse left 
wrist and then I'm going to check it out here and if I run it and if I go to window console and if I click my mouse button as you can see you have to click the mouse here on the game view otherwise it will not work if you click as you can see it says mouse left wrist so this way we can check inputs by using get button down and using the names of the buttons that has been set and we can also give new names to buttons that we can use so thank you guys for watching this for this video so i hope you guys enjoyed and learned something thanks and see you in the next video